Good morning. I'm totally disorganised. I've still um, got Sue's pals are show me playing. What a uh, net. Right, hopefully there's yeah, some of you about. I'll just get the chit chat up. Feels like it's been a little while. Uh, oh, let's get the speak off as well. Um, ba, ba, ba. Yeah. Uh, oh, good. Somebody watching. Just stick a um, smiley face in the chat if um, sound and everything's okay. I can check that. There we go. Hey, Gemma Lou. Yes, a live one. I don't know if this is a good time or a bad time. I kind of thought it's possibly cup of tea break time. <laughs> Hi, Bethany Hall. Is it Bethany or Beth? Oh, you can't answer that, can you? <laughs> Hi, Mel. Cool, brilliant. Um, so what I've got is, I'll show you some vintage stuff I picked up yesterday at the car boot and some clothes, uh, jumpers, woolies that I got. I think it's all woolies, actually. All woolies, bar one skirt that I got from the car boot yesterday. Beth, cool. Um, plus... Uh, some sheets I picked up in the week that I've, I have to, if you haven't seen on Insta. Oh, oh, I thought it was pausing then. I've got to show you. If I pause or go ro robotic or something, let me know. Right, Coolio. Oh, it's really quiet now that I've turned Sue's piles of shame off. Oh, right, so yeah, I spent about £30 yesterday at the car boot. Um, I got some boring things like um, just attempting to clean some shoes. Yeah, cool, that's fine. You, you're allowed, you can do whatever you like. Um, yeah, 30 pounds. I've got some ink. I've got some like, oh, non-vintage stuff. I've got two of these, but I'm a bit of a sucker for paper chase, as is my daughter now. Um, and they're just, they're actually self-adhesive albums. So I've no idea. It might be one of those things like tapes that maybe they'll come back, but they're brand new. Um, 1875, they were the sticker thing on the and I got them for a pound each, got two of those, and I'll stick them on at £15 each plus shipping. Yeah, got a load of ink, got, um, these also are not vintage, but um, if you've been following, you'll know that I've also, I love picking up tins. Um, I don't think this one's going anywhere. I know it probably just had sweets in or something at one point, M&M's tin. I get them for like 50p a tin, and I sell them, depending on what they are, for like seven or ten pounds. Oh, hi, Peter. Cool, yeah, um, yeah, cute, cute. Uh, yeah, I've got, why am I stuck at tin? Because this is when I, I even picked up, a friend gave us this, because we used to have this picture, that's got all my sewing bits in it. That sounds like a sew, I don't sew. I put the odd button back on of the stuff that I'm reselling if it's fallen off or something, or something's a bit loose. Um, yeah, and then this one, is, um, which you probably look at, it's a Christmas tin. So, definitely be able to put that on for a tenner. I'll wind this up and I might have to take it somewhere. My husband thought that um, I wouldn't be able to sell this because it was out tuned. <laughs> Don't think people are that fast. Oh, it does go longer it's because I've not got it even. Yeah. Hideous, to be honest. But there we go. That's not one of my favourite tins. And I've got a Harry Potter book, so standard, standard, standard. Um, oh, yeah. By the by, I've just been... <laughs> You know how Oxfam and um, like British Heart Foundation are pretty much the most expensive? I just popped down and my local Oxfam's doing half price on all their vintage bits. I picked up a couple of bits, including this for me. But it was only a pound full price for 50p in Oxfam. I was like, my in Oxfam? <laughs> it's so gorgeous. I don't even know what... Oh, it says something on the bottom, actually. You might know what these are. Midwinter. Oh, Staffordshire. Yeah, because I've seen this print before. I'm sure, Mel, you probably picked some of this up. Yeah. Oh, it's lush, isn't it? Yeah, 50 pit. I remember it was just a little pot. I can put something in that. Yeah. So, yeah, it just goes to show. Like, just have to keep revisiting places, don't you? I had a nice chit chat with the manager, actually. In fact, she, yeah, she sorted me out a bit. Um, yeah, anyway, yeah, I'm keeping this. Hi, Chris. I'll, I'm, I'm about to, oh, now let me see. Shall I do clothes first or non-clothing? <laughs> hmm, there isn't that much non-clothing. So, 
this is also something I'm probably going to um, keep. I'm not even sure if there would be a value in it, but how cute is this straw? I mean, it's obviously vintage. You can tell it's like a bit, it's like been in the sun or something. But this little Coca-Cola polar bear on in ice skates. I love stuff like that. And he was 10p, so um, yeah, cute. Cute. Oh yeah, so this is a thing. So when I was down in, I can't remember who was messaging me now. Somebody's messaging me on Insta. This is quite funny, really. So we're down in Bournemouth on like a little mini holiday, me and the girls and some friends and their kids, lots of kids. Um, and one morning it was tipping it down and I thought, well, where, like we walked through the town to go to, if you know Bournemouth, to go to the beach. I didn't see any charity shops and I thought I will nip off while we're here if I can see some. And so I looked them up on my phone um, and they were all like, we were staying at a Premier Inn and like it was left to go to the beach in town. And they were all right, well, this place called Westbourne, um, which was lovely. But then I posted some of my finds on Insta and somebody messaged me and said, oh, that's my, I'm away at the moment. That's like, that's like her stomping ground. I went, oh, I feel slightly guilty now that I've just been to your Leclerian hoovered up the goodies, like a Ted Baker dress, um, some cashmere jumpers. <laughs> um, not that guilty, obviously, but um, yeah. Dormer bedding. I got three of these sheets, flipping new in their packets, vintage as. Look at that print. Oh, love them. Absolutely love them. I've got three of these for two ninety nine each. Um, and what have I put them on at? I think I've got them on at £30 each and they've all got watches. Um, I didn't even, this is the thing, uh, somebody I was away with did know of Dorma and she said it's sold in um, House of Fraser. I've picked this name up I think from Caroline and Mrs M. It's going to be Caroline or Heather, they know they're good brands. Um, yeah, Lush, Lush Lou. I couldn't believe it, three lots. And the price, yeah, happy as Larry. Oh, I also, when I was down there, got another pear-shaped item. This like little, um, I think it's like something somebody, I think it might be handmade, like you might have done in woodwork or something. But it's a little chopping board, um, two pounds. And I tell you, if I was selling this, it would be going off 25. But again, I don't know if I can part with it. I don't know if I can part with it. I, it needs to be kind of a bit of an ornament in the kitchen for a little while, I think or become like a cheese board or something. Oh, 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 really like that. Um, right, on the wood theme, I picked this up yesterday for two pounds from the same lady that I got the paper chase stuff from. Um, really nice, heavy, I don't know if it's been oiled because I've, I've wiped it, but it feels, um, oh, you're fat, Karen. Quality time around the shops. Yeah, well, mine come with me. The younger one is particularly a bit of a shopper, so she's always buying stuff. The older one sometimes gets stuff, but they don't mind coming around and, yeah, like you said, uh, bribe them with a, you know, milk and a muffin or something afterwards. Um, yeah, quite heavy. I quite like picking up wood wood things, especially this is a bit different, and it's quite large. If you saw, oh, I need to do a sales update. Yeah, I buy, when bowls, I, guess, I mean, it's a fruit bowl or whatever, or keys or whatever by the door. Um, but a sizeable, you know, like people are getting a bit of value from it. I'll pick those up. So two pounds and that will be going off 20. Um, yeah, really nice wood that is. Um, unfortunately it did have, it had one spoon in it and she said, so it was obviously could have been used for salad or something and she couldn't flip and find the other one. Um, so this will either get bundled with a load of other wood stuff. I'm not going to do it with the bowl and do it separately or because I seem to be building up, I seem to be building up wood stuff because this was 20p when I find it for like, this was 20p. So I think I'm going to end up just selling a load of wood random bits in a bundle just to get rid because I can keep picking it up. Um, yes, so, yeah, it's not a huge amount from yesterday actually that's non-clothing. So I've got this uh, for a quid, which has been a, I've got one of these um, just in the plain wicker colour. Um, really gorgeous. I love these. I freaking love white painted wood as well. Um, yeah, it's lush. Uh, quid. Um, probably gone for 20, 20 or 25 plus shipping. 
20, yeah, one of those. Um, but it's lush. I'll tell you what it came with. This is a bit madness. He had two, um, two of these. I must have been using them for bedside tables. <laughs> Again, so I realised, if you turn out, you can see it was just like wicker and bamboo when they sprayed it or painted it or something. The other one wasn't in very good nick, but also a quid. Quid, for goodness sake. Um, and I'm like, oh gosh, can I, I was already loaded up on my way back to the car, can I carry this? So I put my bags down, but, oh yeah, I can carry that with one hand. Yeah, get the bags over my shoulders. Um, but actually, I don't know, I probably could sell this for 30 or 40, but I'm wondering, I, it's quite a nice small size. It might just fit into a little gap in my garage because for st more storage because I'm having I don't know how anybody else is doing but I have basically like a periodic storage issue I kind of just get about get on top of it I suppose I'll get more tap to sell really and then I fill up all the gaps and then I'm like oh and you know and I'm also I'm approaching I did make 900 listings couple of weeks ago but things have sold and we've been away so I haven't enough to top it up so I'm virtually at 900 listings I'm kind of aiming for a thousand by Christmas and I'm like if I'm gonna get another hundred bits of especially when I'm buying bits like this um in this garage I'm gonna need to sort my storage issues out again so anyway this might help I really like things that this kind of height because I can put my big flexi tubs on the top and sort through when I'm looking for like my cashmere jumpers and stuff. So yeah, I don't know about that. Still wrestling with that one. Um, yeah, it feels suddenly like I've got hardly anything. I have got some clothes. However, flipping the best, the best find. I was just, yeah, mosing along thinking, oh, I've got some bits, whatever. And I saw something, beeline and um, even better, the, the woman I bought it from was the one I bought all the Stephen Kings for 10 Peach from. Um, don't know where she's getting this stuff, but clearly, you know, just wants to get rid. And I paid one pound for this. <laughs> Wicker heaven, plant holder pot. Thing stand freaking how much is a pound oh my god I couldn't, I couldn't you know get my purse out quick enough uh, and whilst I was there I had to put a big blue Ikea bag down and her friend that she'd been chatting she started going through my bag I was like oh yes that's my stuff she went oh I was like yeah some good stuff in there isn't there that happens to me so much I put my bag down somebody starts rummaging through it oh my god how gorgeous is that oh chuffed two bits Funnily enough, actually, I was trying to research this last night and um, twice now, I must have some similar stock, I came upon um, Laura Stubbs's shop. I was like, yeah, was it this I found? It was, yeah, I was looking for wicker. She had a pe peacock wicker chair. Um, yeah, so anyway, pound and um, a good 40. We'll be coming back on that. I really need some big boxes again. I don't know if you saw my Insta and the lamp, huge lampshades I've just sold. It's pretty much clean me out of boxes. I need boxes. If anybody local has got boxes, yeah. Anyway, that was like the find. That was like the find of the weekend for me. I've got other stuff that's worth money, but <sighs> yeah, love that. Love it, love it, love it. Right, I will show you. Oh, also, if you follow me on here or follow me on Insta, Shelster H, if you're not already following me. Um, you know, I'm like for cashmere, and well, I'll tell you what, I'm bored shitless of clothes. Um, so, I, I'll tell you what else I'm bored shitless of, and I've probably told you this already. Clothing returns? Yeah. Um, but I don't seem to have those issues with, oh, there's a robin in our bird bath. I don't seem to have those issues with the cashmere jumpers. It's funny, it, seem, it does seem to be the cheaper stuff that you get the most problems with. Anyway, I just went around the car boot hooping up cashmere, so, well, cashmere and some other mix of stuff. Um, so, let's, so it's all 
most of it needs a debobble or a wash or whatever but it was it's good enough to take the chance on to so happy with this so it's a little is it a wrap cardi i think it's a, yeah it's got a, it's a wrap cardi because it's got the holy bits in and you can tell when something's um good because it's so soft um but the the point is now what did i pay i paid one or two pounds for each of these tad biker size two so that's a 10 which is good i can find ones they will sell but you know as if it's two onwards i'd be happier hi kelly oh you've just missed my vintage bits you have to play it back i'm just doing some clothes um yeah um yeah so ted baker yeah one or two pounds of oh, hanging off of me for each of these um so I'll debobble it and that will go on. It's only cashmere mix, actually. Let me check what's in it. But it's Ted Baker, so... Uh, oh, it's 98... Oh, it's 95%. That's my eyes. 95% lambs, 1-5% cashmere. So... Hmm. I might... Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I might go for 40 um, and not take less than 30 if I need to. Bob Jungle Funny's yarn. Now, Indigo, I'm an S, I don't. To be honest, some brands that I might not pick up, like even like Florence and Fred, you know, Tesco's, if it's got cash in my content, then I'll pick it up. I don't care what the brand is then, because it's the content that's um, the ingredients that are selling it. So I've got this Indigo, um, I can't work out if it's foul or nice actually. It's a jumper dress. It's got little, oh, I've just, ah, yes, it's got little pearly beads on it. And didn't somebody say that um, pearls are coming in? Somebody said pearls are coming in, so that's good. Um, and I could feel it was soft, so it's m &S. It's a 14, it's a reasonable size. And what's it got in it? What you got? That's bizarre, I can't see what it's got in it. I must have picked it up for a reason. Indigo, that is bizarre because it looks like the label's been cut out. Why would I have got that then? Oh, I'm lying. So 50% acrylic, 28% poly, poly, I don't know how you say that, polyamide. Uh, oh, 19% Angora and 3% wool. So it's the Angora that I've picked this up for. So uh, I'll put that in the title, 19% Angora. Um, because it's a jumper dress. I'll probably go for 30 on that plus shipper. Um, and so white stuff, you can spot white stuff a mile off. It has this funny crinkle up label. Um, there you go. Um, this looks like a reasonable size actually. 16. Um, covered in bits of grass. But usually white stuff's also got cashmere or something in it. Recently I saw, before I realised that yak hair is in, thanks to whoever told me that, um, I left a cart of white stuff cardi in the charity shop and it had yak in it, but yak's in, so grab yak if you see it. Um, this one has 4% cashmere, so yeah, cashmere mix, white stuff, um, needs a deep bobble, but probably, yeah, 20 quid plus shipping. Um, got a crew clothing, this feels like it's been through a foil wash, but it's crew clothing, and actually that's a lovely long line I saw somebody describe it as a maxi cardigan. I don't know if that's been banded around or not. If anybody would be, would someone be looking for maxi cardigan or were they be looking for long line? I might try and shove both of those in the uh, keywords along with my relax weekend, blah, blah, blah. Um, actually, it's just 80% lambs wool, but I picked it up because it's crew clothing. Um, so, what size? Oh, yeah, it's meant to be a 16. It's clearly not, is it? So I will measure it and give it a proper size and explain in the condition um, that it's measuring a tw 10, 12, whatever. Um, and maybe 25 on that for shipping. Then, uh, yeah, I think this was a quid. I was happy with this. Lots of material. Um, grey Marley. I like grey Marley. So, oh yeah, it's an 18. Might be why there's lots of material. So plus size, just about, so that's good. 
and what's it got in it? Oh, uh, I expect Chris has gone if you haven't. Bye, Chris. <laughs> um, let's have a look a little. Oh, it's just 100% lamb's wool. I think probably the combination of that, I was on my woolly finding mission, good size and Laura Ashley. 20, 25 or 30? I don't know. I, I've kind of, I've got my kind of, right, or anything, you know, if it's got a point naught nano part of cashmere and goes for 20 plus shipping, if it's pure cashmere, it's 30 plus shipping unless it's a special brand. But, I don't know, thanks Karen, I've just put all of my jean skirt prices up from 15 plus shipping to, um, <laughs> up to 20, 20 plus shipping, and I've got a couple of watches, so, I don't know what I'm doing with the prices at the moment. You just listen to the guide, don't hold me to it. Now this, I couldn't, I, I like the label on this, Crossways, 100% lamb's wool, so I don't, you know, I'm not particularly lamb's wool picker upper 44 but it says spun in scotland and it was quite pretty good condition and it, it feels like a nice size so men's v-neck that's got to sell but i think when things say made in scotland or made in ireland and it's a woolly i think that's attractive so also once i pick the grass off of it it's in good condition i'll probably go for 30 plus shipping on that actually I'm going to try these prices out and see how I get on. Ah, this is, well, it's not really a boo-boo. I knew this was a bit grubby around the neck. She might be thinking, ooh, but don't know what this brand is either. Brummel. Um, it's 100% cashmere. And so I was talking to the woman going, I always point out, <laughs> younger daughter said, you always point out stains, don't you? And I said, yeah. Like I was going, oh, did you, do you know what this is? Like, do you think that'll come out? Um, and then her old biddy friend was going, oh, just put, uh, what's she talking about? Whatever that thing is that gets stains out. It's like, it's 100% cashmere and it's hand wash, you silly old biddy. Um, and I've just discovered a couple of holies around the back of the neck, actually. Where have I gone? I think these are moth holes. See that? One, two, yeah, they're moths. Moths absolutely love cashmere. Um, but it's 100% cashmere. It's a good size as well. So even if I sold it for crafts, but to be honest, I'll give it a wash. If it comes up lovely, I'll probably just declare the holes and not particularly as crafts and still, still go for 20 plus shipping. So... Just a good one. Yeah, I think you give it to me for a quid as a result of the uh, stains, despite her old biddy friend. Um, another one with a stain that I've got to try and wash. Um, I thought it was a woman's jumper because I was chatting to the woman. I was like, "Oh yeah, I like things oversized." And then I, and then of course I did point it out. So, like, oh, what's the? Where is it? What's this? Do you know what it is? Just wondering if it'll wash out because she wanted. And she wanted. Won't be only three pounds for it, um, but the reason why I still went for it, it's cos. Um, I don't even know where they sell cos, but I'm picking lots of it up now, off the back of somebody recommending. Um, yeah, and so she was like, "Oh, flipping heck! I, I washed all of my stuff and ironed it. It'll be his." And like pointed at boyfriend, and so he came over, and I was like. Is this yours? And he said, yeah. I said, what's this? <laughs> he was like, oh, uh, might have been where the dog jumped up or something. It probably wash out. So I was like, right, will you take two then? So uh, I'm sure it probably will wash out. So that's a bargain for cos. And yeah, men's cos. Mm. I don't know. I think I think I might be going out the window with my prices. And I'll try 30 plus shipping, I think. Um, this is cuteness. I think this was, it was a pound. Um, oh yeah, see you later, Kelly. I'll try and catch one of yours. Probably a crap time to go live, wasn't that? Um, yeah, white stuff, 14, it's a good size, but I spotted, I, I could kind of tell it was, um, white stuff, but really lush skirt, this. It feels velvety, 
So even though I'm trying, to, I'm thinking I'm going to start culling skirts and coats. They take up far too much room. That That's like prime real estate out there and everything's got to fight for its space. But then I picked a skirt up, but that is lush. So um, well, it's, I guess I would normally go like 15 plus shipping. I'd probably go 20 plus shipping and it cost me a quid. And that's good for the winter. Oh, this was well chuffed with as well. Jigsaw. Fabulous. Um, I think there's something nice in it as well. 50, oh, 85% silk, 15% angora. Okay. I think it was a quid. It's a little, um, what is that? Tank top? Tank top. And Jigsaw's got such a following. Um, probably 25 plus shipping on that. Plus. Um, and then, oh, this was from the same lady, actually, I think. It's mint velvet, although I kind of am well out of love with mint velvet. And that's mint velvet jeans, boom, straight out the door. Anything else, just going to stick around. Don't know why. But, you know, at these prices, mint velvet, size 12, reasonable size. Um, felt really soft. Well, it's also got, it's got kind of like a netting mesh. Oh, what else would you call this? embroidery almost layer on the top um, and also I think it's probably got something nice in it so it'll sell despite the fact that it's mint velvet and not because it's mint velvet um, oh my god I don't know if there's a hope of me reading what's in this um, I think it's going to need a full light and some glasses but trust me it'll have something nice in it I can feel how soft it is so yeah probably yeah, well 20 to 30 20 25 whatever what else? Right, this, I do love, I love Topshop. This is still the one shop that I still shop in full price. Um, oh my God, it's UK6. I've sold some UK6 Topshop stuff though. Um, but it, it's oversized and also, I don't know what I was thinking actually. I think I thought it was mustard, but it's not. It's like moss green, isn't it? I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe it was cheap as well. And I was on my woolly tip, so. But it's, yeah, I think it's oversized and crop. Um, and top shop, so I thought, oh yeah. I bet it was like 50p or something. Oh, do you know what I think? I think I was thinking I even like this. Right, can you see that? I really like that, actually. I really do. I might have to try this on. What's it got in it? Anything fancy? Ooh, it's got Angora in that. That might have helped my decision. Yeah, and I would put whatever percentage Angora it is after putting my glasses on and reading it properly. But that's, yeah. If all these, I mean, that's a very autumnal colour as well. And if mustard is back, and what else was back with mustard? Rust. Flipping hate rust. Um, but that's going to go in with those, isn't it? Um, so that's got to be like a 20, 20 quid plus shipping, I reckon. Um, this top shop as well, UK 12, is a sort of, it's too itchy wool for me, but flipping love this. It's top shop and it's, I love big cream um, cable knit jumpers anyway. It's, it's well oversized. It's only a 12, but it's, you can see it's massive. Um, this will sell easily. So I reckon probably 25 or 30 on this because but you know they're like 40 odd these jumpers in Topshop and they bring them out every winter I wonder if it's got anything special in it no acrylico maybe if I put acrylico it'll sound more exotic maybe not 80% wool yeah 80% wool 20% acrylico yeah I love that though I love that style I wish that I could wear wool but I mean, like, you know, like, try, like that robin in the bird bath. It could fart over in that bird bath and I'd start itching. Just everything makes me itch. Yeah, there you go. Um, that's pretty much it, actually. Yeah, I've got some other... I've got some more clothes, but you've seen enough jumpers. Um, that's all right, isn't it? Um, so thank you five people watching and one person who's done a thumbs up. Feels like it's been a little while. Yeah, we've been gallivanting. Um, oh, actually, yeah, tell me um, tell me how your sales have been. 
um, if there's anybody in there still to chit chat. Um, yeah, we've been off gallivanting, we've been sort of picking stuff up, we went to Exeter, um, yeah, we've been like doing the Premier Inn tour, <laughs> we've been to Exeter, then uh, we were back for a day, turn around, my husband went back to work and then I went off, um, uh, it was all girls and two little boys, um, to Bournemouth and did a little bit of sourcing there, a lot of sitting on the beach whilst they um, dug pits, um, that was the thing of the holiday big spades, digging pits, um, and so now I'm back till, back for this week, then Saturday we're off to rugby to stay with some friends, um, doubt I will get, mm, never know, basically if I'm in sniffing distance of a charity shop there I'll be there, um, and then we're off to Prostatim for the week on a little sunny deal, hi how's that tick, oh, How's that it? You're you're how's that it, mummy, aren't you on on Insta? Are you? I can't see a little picture there. Are you? Oh my God, it's raining. Are you how's that it, mummy? Because let me know if you are before I start talking. Um, yeah. Oh my God, you are picking up some stuff. Wow. I don't know how I haven't seen your stories before, or if I've been slack and following back or something, but. Really impressed. If you're on Insta, as well as following me, Shelster H, follow us at it, mummy, because um, yeah, really, really like all the stuff you're picking up. Really good values. Um, yeah. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So then we're off to Prestatim. Who am I? Is it not you that I've been watching then? Oh, oh, do you mean you've just started doing the stories? You go, oh yes, oh my god, your mirrors are lovely. Oh, you have to watch this back because I've got a mirror as well. On the wicker tip, it's just one more thing I'm going to show you actually. Yeah, press that in and then we're back to um, Coventry Way for Godiv Godiva Festival. Oh, right, oh, it's good, it's good. I like your stories. Well, I think I've seen a two maybe. Yeah, oh yeah. If it had fringing, it would be even better. So I don't know how vintage, I don't think it's vintage, but not. You know, the, vintage, the fringing for me makes it 70s. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Get this. My local Oxfam are having a vintage half price sale. Um, so, and um, so I ended up paying um, a pound for this. I mean, that's like car boot prices. It's like brilliant. Be keeping my, well, I had a little chit chat with the manager. And she did say, because I said, are you having like a different thing every day? And she's like, um, no, but they need to apparently, yeah, get this. They need to clear the stock room. So because the Christmas cards are coming, Christmas cards are coming and they need to sort them all out and they need the space. So they've got, it must do a lot of, I mean, it's their new Oxfam Christmas cards. So they must do a lot of Christmas cards because it's worth them trying to flog some stuff off a bit cheaper than usual well half price to uh, make room for them yeah sales wise um yeah good good um i know a lot of people are saying it's picking up and like maybe the summer slowdown is um is over um i've been pretty consistent over the summer anyway um and but yeah i i did so we were back friday evening oh hello wanted to ask you your vintage cells you posted have vintage in them can you write it yeah you can just write vtg um like try searching on ebay for anything and put vtg at the um beginning and and it will pick up vintage um yeah so you've got those little extra characters to play with for your keywords um what was i saying oh yeah back friday evening and um did my usual like i think i think i had to do that the previous was it no i can't remember what day we got back now yeah anyway back friday evening and did like quick wrapping up of stuff that i thought i just want to get all our local post office thankfully is open till 8 p.m which is great as well because also the people in the evening couldn't give a shit what you put through like you can get right sorry i just got 100 parcels Sorry if i just shoved them through here they don't care um all prepaid yeah um oh i said for size i don't know don't know, I need to check that. I didn't know about the VTG. 
Uh, oh, actually, no, I don't use size generally anywhere. I usually use um, UK because it's smaller. So, yeah, UK 10 instead of size 10. Save those characters again. Um, oh, yeah, so did my packaging Friday evening. And then Saturday, I had so many sales again. Um, daughter was going to go to the co-op. I was like, can you just, can you take some more parcels just to get rid of them? Because... I'm thinking I'm going to have a load, well, hopefully load more sales and it's going to get ridiculous on Monday morning. And then yesterday, it was mental, I went into Caversham with, because uh, the post office there also doesn't give a shit, I just put everything on the end um, counter thing. It was embarrassing because I had my big sourcing bag plus two blue Ikea bags full because I had two lampshades to post, huge boxes. Um... It was embarrassing. I literally, they couldn't see out of their like um, wood thing at the end, their counter. And but I thought I'm just going to keep loading this up and then leg it out the door. Someone writes size 10, we are UK 10 store show. Huh. I don't know. I don't know, but it doesn't seem to be affecting sales. Because the other thing is, if they sort it, because I, obviously I put the size in the drop down boxes, so if they sort it by their size, it's definitely going to get picked up because of the drop downs. Um, I don't know, but people are buying, so I don't think it stopped them. Um, yeah. Yeah, maybe check that one out and you can let us all know. <laughs> right, anyway, just uh, blathering on. Yeah. Yeah, I was interested by the stuff. How long have you been doing? I'll, I'll message you. I'll zot it because um, I'm just. Uh... Yeah. Oh, Caroline. Hi there. Uh, hello. You say hello. I say goodbye. Is that right? Because I'm going. <laughs> um, yeah, you have to watch this back. Got some vintage stuff. I didn't get to go. Where were we? Was it, e was it Exeter? Yeah, when you said about. Yeah, you missed it all. It was brilliant as well. <laughs> Um, and you said about Sidmouth, was it? Didn't get to Sidmouth. Had been to Exmouth. Um, flipping, like, uh, Exeter Town Centre wasn't all that. It was, yeah, for me. But went to Exmouth. Oh, my God. It was like a charity shop um, marathon. There must have been about 20 charity shops. Absolutely in my element. <sighs> yeah. Loved that. Got loads of vintage. Oh, and thanks, Caroline. I'm sure it's you that um, mentioned Dormer. Uh, D D Dormer. 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 Yeah. Um, there's some really nice places to visit, isn't there? I got all carried away with... Um... Oh, Devon Cliffs. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Devon Cliffs. Yeah, we used to stay there. And in fact, I was like, I'm not going back there. I'm sick to death of the, the Ents because my kids are 9 and 12, just about to have birthdays. Oh, we've done all those Ents and stuff at the Havens and, you know, the Sunny Deals. I was like, I'm just sick of them. Um, but then since I've discovered that Devon Cliffs is so close to, to like, Exmouth and all those goodies charity shops, and I said to my husband, I said, I think I could cope with another little Sunny Deal down there. <laughs> so as I get my sourcing fix. Oh, dear, the sadness. Hi, Peter. Oh, sorry, we are off. But, um, yeah, play, do play back. Um, and what day is it? It's Monday. I've got a child-free day. So it's been brilliant because I've already, like, went off, did my post office, did a couple of charity shops. Um, and uh, I'm on here and I can just list. And, I've, and I kind of felt like the usual panic. If you've got young kids, you'll know what I mean. Of like, oh, right, I need to get some stuff on. Oh, I need to do. And I'm like, oh, hang on. There's nobody, like, hassling me to entertain them, which I don't do. Um, I can't you just, you know, sort of mosey around and potter about and do it in my own time today. Happy days. Right, anyway, I'm wittering. Um, yeah, have a lovely Monday, everybody, and um, talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.